Errol Spence Jr. gets hit less than you think. We're going to talk about that in this video. Stay tuned. Errol Spence, he just beat Danny Garcia, and he definitely gets hit less than a lot of you guys think. And I'm going to break it down. We're going to try something different with ego markups. Stay tuned. Danny, you fought uh, Porter Thurman and now Spence. What, what separates Spence from the other two guys? You know, I feel like they're all kind of on, you know, I feel like they're all kind of on the same level. He just, uh, I think he has a better jab and he's stronger than all three of them. Uh, physically stronger than all three of them. But I feel like they all have different type of strengths. But he, I think he's, he may be the strongest one out of all three of them. Yo, what up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Cash App, dollar sign, boxing, Ego. We're going to talk about it. Errol Spence, he just did a good crowd, pretty much a sold out crowd, considering all things social distancing. Terrence Crawford was in the crowd. Errol Spence, he looked dynamite, very sharp post accident. And it gave Danny Garcia a beating. In my opinion, I think he beat Danny Garcia worse than really anybody. We've never seen a demoralized Danny Garcia who didn't really seem to have the answers. You see the reddening and swelling on Danny's face. Danny's corners seem, at points of the fight, very concerned. And his trainer and dad said, hey, what are you doing? You're not throwing enough punches. What part of the game is this? Errol Spence looked really sharp. Now, you guys seen the title in the video? Errol Spence, he won via unanimous decision. And... I want to talk about something because I don't think enough people are talking about this angle. So leave it to your boy Ego. I got a new segment I want to test out called Boxing Ego Markups. And I drew basically a diagram so you guys can see. Look at Danny Garcia's face, y'all. You heard at the beginning, Danny Garcia gave a lot of praise to Errol Spence Jr. And, you know, post fight in the press conference, he said that Errol Spence had a very good jab. And I think Danny Garcia felt the power early, seen the skill set, and he got kind of intimidated by Errol Spence, Errol Spence changing levels and uh, befuddling him. I don't think he expected Errol to be that sharp. And at the beginning, you guys heard Danny Garcia out of his own mouth. He said that Errol Spence was perhaps the strongest out of the other big welterweights and big welterweight names that he fought. This includes Sean Porter who he lost a tight uh, decision to. And then also Keith Thurman, similar situation where Danny Garcia, he lost, but he lost, you know, pretty close. Errol Spence showed the most separation. And that's very impressive coming off of the injury and what he overcame, you know, being in the car accident. But one thing that I have noticed is a lot of people aren't giving Errol credit. Like, this is how you can see when the evils are at play because old media, you would seem, it would seem to me that they would be praising Errol Spence Jr. for his road back, you know, the road to recovery and what he went through and how he looked and stuff like that. 
But instead, you see almost more hatred for Errol Spence Jr. And people, you know, bringing up Crawford, don't let the man rest, and, you know, making comments about Danny Garcia wasn't all that and, and things like that after the fact. But before the fight, they were saying Errol was slurring, his speech was different, you know, he won't be able to take a punch because they seen him slam against the asphalt or the concrete. And now, as soon as they're proven wrong, all of these things go out the window and it becomes a new talking point. And it's just crazy how that happens. So I want to show you guys um, a side of Errol Spence that I don't think is getting enough press. And I can't show you, I wish I could show you actual fight footage on my channel. But for copyright reasons, they don't allow us YouTubers and content creators to do that. But what I can do is show you some numbers. Now, I'm not a, when it comes to boxing, you know, again, I wish I could do the film study, but I'm not a total numbers do guy like Compu, CompuBox and stuff like that. Because sometimes the CompuBox numbers, you don't know who's clicking the little clicker and counting the punches and things like that. So sometimes it doesn't really indicate what you're seeing, but sometimes it definitely does. And it's a hundred percent really, um, cohesive and it actually lets you know what you're seeing. And it is, it's a hundred percent accurate. Now you guys see this Errol Spence outside of the head, but his face looks pretty clear. You know, this is post fight. This is after the 12th round, his face looks pretty clear. Meanwhile, the whole fight, they're putting inswell on Danny Garcia's face. And you've seen it at the beginning. His eyes started to swell. And this is Errol Spence. Look at Errol Spence right there. He got a headbutt and, you know, a little bit of reddening and stuff like that. But overall, he looks good. A lot of people aren't giving credit to Errol Spence's defense. Errol Spence was doing some pretty slick, just basic boxing and overall boxing. Changing levels, um, pivoting, um, bending at the knees a little bit of shifting, just great, you know, strength. And, man, I was very impressed, man. I was very impressed. You see, look at, look at, just look at the, the, both of their faces. Danny's face look all beat up, you know, happy he made it the distance, but Errol's face looks cool. You know, this is Danny post fight, things like that. But um, let's, let's take a look at some of these numbers that people don't, that was a beautiful left hand. This is what people don't give Errol Spence full credit for. And we're definitely going to do that on my channel. So here we go. I got it all drawn up for you. CompuBox. Opponents connect percentage versus Spence. Danny Garcia did the worst. So once again, opponents connect percentage versus Errol Spence Jr. Danny Garcia landed 16.7%. Porter, he did better than both Garcias. You see Mikey Garcia, 18.5. Danny, the lowest at 16.7. And Porter did the best. He tried to stay in Errol Spence's chest and keep him working. He landed 23.1. You look at this, the welterweight average is 29.9. Round that to the nearest whole number. That's basically 30%. So this top shelf competition, Mikey Garcia, Danny Garcia, and Porter, between the two or three people, they all landed in between 16 and a half to 23% roughly on Errol Spence Jr., which indicates a couple of things. It indicates Errol Spence is probably strong. His countering is good. His basics, his fundamentals is good. So they're not being able to get off as, as many um, punches as a lesser fighter. Look at the welterweight average. It's, he's keeping all these dudes well below the welterweight average. Now, you look on the right side of the screen. Danny Garcia average punches landed per round. Versus Porter, it was 14. Versus Keith Thurman, who has power and uses his legs, it was 11. It was the lowest versus Errol Spence Jr. And it was 10. And this man is coming off a car accident. These are very impressive stats. It goes to show at the clip at the beginning, Danny Garcia says, out of Porter and Thurman, Spence is the strongest. And I can definitely see that from these stats. It shows that Errol Spence is a monster and he's strong and he's limiting guys and their output because they're worried about what's coming back. 
in his overall skill and the strength and power that he possesses. So I'll talk about this more probably on the live stream. Let me know how I did in this video. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.